So today I'm going to share with you guys how to make these DIY Disney World map coasters. I needed some coasters for our master bedroom when were we doing it and I thought what better way to reuse some old Disney maps that I had from a trip to Disney than to make my own coaster. So that's what I'm going to show you today. I'm just going to show you like the finished product now. Mine is a piece of the Hollywood Studios map and my husband's is a piece of the Epcot map. And I just think they turned out really cute and it's a really fun personal way to add Disney into our everyday life because we use coasters every night on our nightstands. So the first thing I did was I picked up two coasters from the Dollar Tree. They already had the cork on the bottom so they won't scratch the table. And I actually had made a set of coasters for my friend the same way a couple years ago and he said his are still holding up nicely. So I just have some matte finish, matte finish Mod Podge that I've had for a while. I got it at Hobby Lobby. I just put a little bit of it in a plate, probably way more than I need. And then I just have a foam tipped craft, craft brush. And after tracing the map and cutting it out to size, I just lay it on top of the coaster and then start my first layer of Mod Podge. It's a little hard to work with this map paper because it is very shiny and um, it, it didn't come out perfectly smooth. There were a little bit of bubbles. Um, but I think it still turned out cute. So you just have to work kind of quickly as you see it didn't stick. So I had to go back and put some Mod Podge on the actual coaster so it would stick and then put the paper back on top of that. It's kind of trial and error. I'm not a very good crafter but I just figured out a way to make it work. So I just went around and made sure I sealed up the edges so it would not peel back up on the corners. Now I'm just doing the same thing to, to mine that I did to his. I put some Mod Podge on the coaster and put the paper on top to make sure that it was sticking well. And then I put the layer of Mod Podge. I learned a little bit after the first one that it works better to do it that way. So make sure it's stuck on there really good. Get out as many of the air bubbles as you can and then go through with the Mod Podge on the top layer. After that first layer was on there I had a little bit of an overhang because I hadn't cut it exactly right so I just got an exacto knife and trimmed up the edges. So a little bit of time has passed not very long I think about 10 minutes so I'm just putting on the second layer of Mod Podge. It ended up being, I believe, just the two layers. After I put the second layer of Mod Podge and it was dry, I had picked up an acrylic waterproofing sealer from Hobby Lobby, which I didn't show because I had to do it outside and it was cold. But I ran outside and sprayed it with that waterproofing, um, the acrylic waterproofing spray. It's just a clear spray you put on top to basically make it waterproof and it made it nice and shiny. And we've been using them for a couple weeks now and have not had any issues with them getting water on them or bubbling up or anything. So it's just a fun project and a way to add Disney into our everyday lives. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.